Hello and welcome to the physics topic, magnetism, lesson three, static electricity. We're going to take a look at when you might experience static electricity, how static electricity is generated and the effects static electricity might have. So you've got some images there where we witness it, static electricity. You might have experienced it. Um, shutting car doors and hearing the crackle of static electricity or maybe when you pull a woolly jumper off over your head and your hair then resembles something like that uh, little kid in the first picture there. There's also static electricity obviously involved in lightning and if you've witnessed or been shown videos of van der Graaff generators you would have also seen static electricity. So static electricity very simply explained is um, when objects are rubbed together, the charges build up. And particularly if we rub insulating materials together, electrons are moved from one object to another. So the object that gains the electrons, because electrons are negative, um, that object becomes negatively charged. And the object that loses the electrons is positively charged. So those charged objects have an electric field around them. OK, so when I click through onto the next slide, the video is going to start straight away. And this video is of me demonstrating the effects of static electricity. I'll play it through and then we'll talk it through. Today, we're going to make water bend. Blow up your balloon. Tie it and then generate some static electricity. Bring the balloon to the water and watch the static electricity make the water bend. For more science experiments and revision tips, visit In My Element UK on YouTube. Okay, so you could see the water bending slightly. This is a good one for you to try yourself. Basically, when you've rubbed the balloon, the effect of the force is the same. Okay, and the balloon and the water have different electric charges. So the balloon attracts the water. And that's why you see that bending. So the water moves towards the balloon. Okay, what you need to do now is have a look at the worksheet, have a go at completing it. Rewatch the lesson if you need to. Remember what we've said about charges and opposites attracting. We talked about the same thing um, with magnets. It's important you remember that, that will come up. 